This is going to be a tutorial on how to sign in to Google Chrome so that we can sync our settings across several different browsers if you have them installed on different computers in your house or if you have a laptop on a desktop and you're trying to sync your settings this will allow you to use the same saved passwords, same bookmarks and sites and pretty much everything as if you're using the same computer over and over again when you're using a browser. So first thing we want to do is open up Google Chrome and it's going to bring you into your regular browser interface. So we're going to go up to the top right hand corner. This is where you're going to find all the other options and features of Google Chrome. And from here we're going to scroll down until we hit sign into Chrome. So this is going to pop up. We're going to type in our email address here that we created previously or if you already have one for a Gmail account. Go ahead and put it in here and then we're going to go ahead and sign in. And so that's going to be the first time we sign in. And it's going to show you that you're signed in in the top right hand corner. So it even tells you bookmarks, history, and other settings are being synced. So it's going to take a little bit of time if you've been browsing and stuff before and you're syncing it on a different computer just now. But so you can see, we go up here, you look at bookmarks. It's going to bring all your bookmarks over, which is very helpful if you already have them set up. And that's another neat feature. You can always just bookmark a page really quick by clicking that. And this has all the features in the side here of a uh, new incognito window. If you're trying to browse in private, you don't want to erase your history afterwards. Uh, a new tab, that's normally pretty easy, or a new window. Um, to do that, you really just click this little button here. It makes a new tab. If you want a new window, you can just pull down and it makes a brand new window. So I don't know what the big deal is about that, but and you can also look at zooming. It'll give you different amounts of zoom in. It'll focus it in more or less. I like the normal 100%. Save page as. This is probably one of my favorite things. Um, you can save it as a PDF. Those are one of the great things. So this, you can save pages. The main thing is when you're printing, though, if you hit Control P, it's going to bring up the printer interface. One of the nice things about Google Chrome, though, is you can save things as a PDF, so if you go to your standard printer and hit change, there's going to be a list of different printers and different things here, and you're going to find save as PDF. I use this so much, and it's so helpful. Instead of having to try and snip things or copy and paste and then go into Word and save it as a PDF, uh, Google Chrome definitely nailed it on the head when they put this feature in here. I wish Internet Explorer and everything else had this, or it was just as easy and accessible. So let's go back over to the corner real quick. So if you want to look at your history, you can do that. There's also going to be downloads, anything you've downloaded before. And so the main thing we're going to look at after we've signed in now is going to be the settings. Because you're going to have some questions once in a while of how do you do different things. So this brings you to your main account. So there's different themes. You can disconnect your account if you're using it on a public computer. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, there's some advanced sync settings if you're really looking for something specific. Otherwise, you can look for themes, and it's going to open up the web store, the app store. That'll be a different tutorial on all the apps and things, but you can change your browser to look like something like one of these, something you find appealing, essentially. So search, you can manage your search engines. Um, I find Google's pretty much the best. I don't know what else you would use. Uh, I guess if you're a Bing fan, they've been doing advertising quite heavily lately. Um, you can add other Chrome users to this sync. So that's kind of nice if you have multiple Gmail accounts and you're looking to do that. Um, I definitely leave Google Chrome as my default browser at all times. I, I just love it too much. Um, show advanced settings. This is going to be important. You're going to want to click this. So there's some different privacy. You can configure some uh, settings in here. You can delete your browsing data and history. The nice thing is you can do it from the beginning of time. It's not just this setting because they record everything when you're signed in your account. So that's nice that they allow you to do that. So if we go to passwords and forms, it allows you to auto save passwords and logins, which is really nice. I love just going to a site and it auto fills everything in for me. It's a nice feature. 
then I go down. You can change your download folder. Um, there's normally a default download window when you open this up called downloads, but you can also download to the desktop. I like that for easy access. Um, there's different settings that you can play around with that if you're really into that. Google Cloud Print is a nice thing. Uh, you can print from mobile devices with that. There's a lot of different settings. That's very technical, I feel like, so we won't get into that. Um, the only other thing you really need to know about is the pop-up blocker. And that's going to be in here. Under pop-ups, allow sites to show pop-ups. So it's a little bit more buried than you would find in some of the other browsers where it's just under tools and options. This one you have to go to advanced settings and then privacy. So when you're looking at a page and you can't get something to open, this is normally the culprit. So you can just do it for everything, or you can manage exceptions, and you just go ahead and put certain domains in here. So either way, it works really great. So I'm just going to click Done. I'll just allow it for everything, because if you're going to normal websites, it's not a big problem. Not a lot of them have pop-ups anymore. It used to be really bad. Click Done. So let's go, this uh, syncs everything for your Google settings, and you can just go back to Google Chrome. And it's just going to take you home, and you're still signed in. But now everything should be synced between your different computers, and I hope this was helpful for you. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, or any comments or questions that you have at the bottom of the post. Thanks so much.